Hello, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. This is Joe. In this video, I'll go over the process of transferring a boot image from the SD card to something called NAND Flash. By default, it will boot the uh, boot image from the micro SD card located here. And if you don't have the S micro SD card in the cubbyboard, what it will do, if you look at the underside of the cubbyboard, there's four gigabytes of NAND flash memory on the underside of the board, and it will, if the, the micro SD card isn't present, it will boot from that, and by default it has a, a test version of Android that doesn't really do much. They have easier ways of uh, going about doing it, but I won't show you the latest easy way. Um, since I'm working with um, I'm, I'm working with a Roman's uh, disk image and I just don't really want to break stride from doing it and doing it a completely different way. So let me go ahead and power up the cubbyboard and get started. Head on out to linux-sunxi.org and on their main page scroll down to the section that says hardware and go a little bit further to featured community hardware and click on cubby board and on this page you'll also want to scroll down to the hardware hacking section i know it, it sounds kind of special but go to the software hacking section instead because i kind of steered you wrong and click on installing on nand on this page, and I also mention this is the easier way of doing it, which I haven't really tried fully yet, called Cubian. I'll save that for a different video. But on here, it gives instructions on how to install to NAND Flash, but I'll just walk you through it. And keep in mind, I'm on my SD card, I'm running a, a image called uh, a Roman's image, and I'll be using that as, a, as an example of how to do this. Because I'm not doing the full instructions, I'm only doing the NAND part, since I just want to copy the boot partition from the SD card to NAND flash. Where it says uh, NAND partition and MBR, which stands for Master Boot Record Image, uh, they have a link here to a cubby NAND U-boot partition image .bin. Go ahead and right click on this file and save it to your desktop. I've tried to do a wget directly to my cubby board, but for whatever reason, it gives me a 403 forbidden error. So it has some sort of click jacking thing that prevents me from accessing it directly from a Linux shell. I already have the image saved to my desktop, and for whatever reason, it wants to play it in VLC. A, uh, a popular file transferring uh, utility is FileZilla. It's uh, free. Connect via SSH to your cubby board. And transfer the U-boot NAND partition image from your desktop to your cubby board. And after that's completed, go ahead and exit your file transfer utility. And if on my right is a SSH session into my cubby board, and I have the cubby NAND U-boot partition image on, um, on, on my cubby board now. Now I'll, what I'll need to do is actually copy this image to NAND flash. Now before I go about explaining how to do this, if you want to save the original stock image of uh, whatever is on NAND flash, now would be good time to do it. You can use uh, disk duplicate with an input source of dev slash NAND and you can give an output file of whatever image file you, you want to write it to because what we'll do is we'll go ahead and overwrite the flash area. And if we mess up, it's okay because by default, the cubby board will boot from the SD card and use NAND flash as a fallback. If I scroll down just a little bit, there is, and the problem is that this is difficult to read because it's all bunched up in paragraphs, but we have a next step here is to get 
Debian system onto into internal NAND. So look at this section, and it has a command in parentheses which uses this image that we just downloaded. Go ahead and copy this, which does a disduplicate using an input of the U-boot partition image and an output to NAND flash. Type in sudo and paste that command into the terminal window. Press enter, and it's done. Now it advises that I wait for 30 seconds and then reboot. Some people say that's not necessary, but I'm just following directions. Type in sudo reboot. And I know you're probably saying you did not wait 30 seconds. No comment. SSH back into the cubby board. And since we'll be doing a lot of administrative commands, drop to sudo by typing in sudo space dash s. And now we're in a root shell. The next step would be to create a file system on dev slash NAND B, which holds the, the boot partition. Type in make fs.ext4. That will create a ext4 file system. And we'll want to do that on dev slash NAND B, as in boy, and press enter. After that's completed, mount the partition by typing in mount slash dev slash NAND B slash mount. Now if I take a look at the mount directory, there's nothing in there. Create a directory in the temp directory called temp slash boot. And what we'll do, and let me do a cat proc on partitions. Uh, this MMC, these things, the listings that begin with MMC, that's the SD card. MMC BLK0P1, that's the boot partition. Mount that partition by typing in mount slash dev and then paste that partition and we'll mount it to temp slash boot. Change the directory to temp slash boot. And if I get a listing of it, these are all the files that are related to Roman's image that I have set up, including a uenv.txt, which I did in the last video, a whole separate rite of passage that will allow the cubby board to use the root file system on the hard disk. What I will do now is copy all of these files to the boot partition of uh, the NAND flash, which is mounted on slash mount slash, well, actually, no, no. What I'll need to do, good thing I caught myself on this, create a directory on the mount drive called slash mount slash boot and then copy all the files from temp slash boot to mount slash boot. So if I take a look and see what's in mount, there's a boot directory in there. And inside the boot directory all, are, are all of Roman's disk images. So at this point, what I should be able to do is issue a shutdown command by typing in shutdown Dash, dash H space now. Wait for the red light to go off on the, on the cubby board. Now what I'll do is remove the SD card from the cubby board. And power the cubby board back on. And the annoying thing about this is that that green LED light is always shining, like it did on the Android image. And I've tried different things um, to get it to shut off, and I couldn't figure out how to get it to shut off, and it's extremely irritating. But let's go ahead and see if we can sign in. Hard drive is spinning up. It's the, greediest, it's the brightest green LED light that you can pick. 
I'll go ahead and sign in. Moment of truth, all my stuff is there. And uh, the SD card is not in the cubby board anymore, but there's that green light glowing. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.